Yo, what's going on guys? Chris Duflakster. So it's officially the NBA Draft Day for the 2017 NBA Draft Class. Today is the day that players are going to get drafted to their NBA team and they could potentially be either a boom or a bust for the NBA franchise. They could be a player that carries the team to NBA championships for many years to come or sets them years back. Uh, basically guys, a few people sent me this challenge here on Twitter. It's Battle of the Draft Classes. This is uh, for somewhat recent draft classes, you know, players that are currently in their NBA Prime. Uh, players that really changed their NBA franchise for the most part. There's a few players on here, you know, that didn't exactly live up to potential, but I will go over all that and whatnot. So what I want you guys to do here, man, we have the 20 or the, uh, the uh, 2008, 2009, 2010, and 2011 draft class. We are going to see in a seven game playoff series simulator, uh, which one of these draft classes does the best. If you guys can do me a favor, man, and uh, hit that like button on this video. Also, let me know in the comment section below which team you think is going to win this challenge. Uh, before we get started right here, let's go ahead and go through the draft classes that we're going to look at here. And like I said, man, somebody sent me this on Twitter. So there's, if there's a player that's missing or shouldn't be there, uh, don't blame me, man. It was just sent to me. So that's why I'm doing it here. So we got the uh, 2008 draft class. We got these five players. We got Russell Westbrook, DeAndre Jordan, Kevin Love, uh, Danilo Gallinari, and Derrick Rose. Now, Derrick Rose is one of those players, man, that... You know, his rookie season and everything, he was a baller, man. Derrick Rose was absolutely crazy. He was the youngest MVP in NBA history, but then he had injuries. So for that reason, it's like now he's only 81 overall player. And, and um, realistically, like those injuries did set back the Chicago Bulls franchise because they would have been freaking competing every single year for championships have this man stayed healthy. So that's very unfortunate. Uh, we have the 2009 draft class with James Harden, Steph Curry, DeMar DeRozan, Blake Griffin, and Todd Gibson. I really do like this team a lot right here. Stephen Curry and James Harden on the same team. Absolutely crazy. DeMar DeRozan, uh, he was one of the best, if not the best, shooting guard in the Eastern Conference this season. Uh, Blake Griffin's always solid. solid uh, Taj Gibson, he's always been like a good basic role player out there. So, yeah, he's just a good solid player. Uh, we have the 2010 draft class with Marcus Cousins, Paul George, John Wall, Goran Hayward, and Derek Favors. Derek Favors, I think, yeah, he was the number three pick in the 2010 draft. And uh, I would say he's probably a good example of a bust. Like, he, like he's not horrible, man. I'm not saying he's like horrible, but he's not really worth the number three pick overall, if you ask me looking back at that. And then we have the 2011 draft class. This is my pick for who's going to win this. We have Kawhi Leonard, uh, Kyrie Irving, Jimmy Buckets, Klay Thompson, and Tristan Thompson. This was the year that the uh, Cavaliers actually had two first round draft picks. They had the number one where they took Kyrie, and they had number four where they took Tristan Thompson. So uh, yeah, guys, we are going to see how this all goes. Like I said, man, this is my team right here, who I think is going to win it all. Um, so first off, we have the 2008 against the uh, 2009. Forgot to put the little thing right there. That's fine. And we got 2010 versus 2011. So let's go ahead, guys. And I don't know if we can do this like game by game. Yeah, okay, we can do uh, yeah simulate game. Here we go, man. Always simulate. All right, so 2008 beat 2009. The first game. Let's look at these stats here real quick. And uh, actually, no, man. Let's do it this way. We're going. We're going to just simulate the entire series, and then we'll look back at the stats uh, just so we can like kill it all at one time. So here we go, man. Let's uh, simulate current round right here. 2010 has been eliminated and 2009 has been eliminated yo did i say two i said 2011 was gonna win right yeah so i got 2011 versus 2008 so we have the uh, youngest or most recent versus the oldest right here so uh damn it was pretty much like god damn dude this shit was a freaking sweep over here yo 2010 they uh this is a team with uh john wall and demarcus cousins right here. yo dude did i say 2011 yeah i said 2011 was gonna win all right so 2010 actually did get knocked out right here Damn, I thought this team was actually pretty good, though, with John Wall, Demarcus, Derek, uh, Goran Hayward, and Paul George. Like, that team's looking pretty damn good. But at the same time, this team right here, man, the defense on this team, the playmaking, the shooting, the everything. Yeah, I can see why that uh, went that way. Here's uh, the game two stats. For you guys like the stats out there. That's what we're looking like right there. We got Demarcus with almost a triple-double. Uh, game three, uh, Jimmy Buckets, 31, 11, and 7. Uh, 24 for Kawhi Leonard. And we got Demar Yo, Demarcus is, like, really, like, tearing up this series. But... That's always been what Demarcus Cousins really been, man. He's been, oh, he's always been kind of a stat batter, you know. It's like, yeah, he's a good player, but he hasn't really proven anything to me yet. Uh, maybe he's proven something. Maybe you're a Pelicans fan. You think that's gonna change? I hope it does. I hope him and Anthony Davis make some noise in the Western Conference. All right, and over here we got the 2008 against the uh, 2010. No, no, I'm sorry, 2009. And the 2009 was actually, yo, wow. This freaking wow, god damn. How's Yo, 2008's the team with Curry and James Harden on it. Oh my god. Yo, Russell's a beast and everything, but I didn't... I was gonna say, man, I was thinking 2009 was gonna win this. Wow, man. I'm, I'm actually very... I'm very shook by this. Like... Wow, man. Okay. Okay. Well... 
maybe you guys predicted 2009 and I, that was one of my predictions no I, I, I did say i did say 2011 2011 was my official prediction but i was gonna give them like a second place i thought they were gonna make it to the uh, finals here and there's the stats for everybody look at yo derrick rose tearing up 23.6 assists I, I, I should not say tearing jokes with derrick rose it's a bad joke man i shouldn't do that um actually it wasn't a joke but i thought of that point at the last second so i said it all right so we have 2008 russell rose galinari love jordan against 2011 uh Kyrie thompson butler Kawhi and Tristan Thompson. Let's do this game by game right here. Simulate game. So 2008 with Russell Westbrook. They get game one, man. And uh, yo, Derrick Rose actually out here like leading this team and scoring, man. Damn. He kind of playing like the old school D Rose. 31 and 8 assists. Yeah, man, that's looking like old school D Rose if you ask me. Wow, dude. All right. Simulate, uh, simulate next game. Oh, it's Todd Series. Todd Series. Russell 37 and 10. Derrick Rose, I mean, kind of shine way out, kind of shine himself out of that game. But it's all good. It's all good. Kawhi Leonard, 26, 11, and 8. We got 25 for Clay Thompson out there. Yo, I, I love that. I would love those two, like, join the same team. That's, like, a nice duo right there. That'd be insane. All right, simulate next game. 2011. Like I said, like I said. That's what the stats are looking like. Uh, 18, 13, and 6. Yo, that's. Damn, they only put up 68 points with this team. How y'all gonna put up 68 points, man? Although, I will, like, I will, like I was saying, though, the defense on this team is absolutely crazy. So, I guess it makes sense. Because, like, I think, like, Jimmy Buckets and, like, Kawhi Leonard, great defensive players. But Clay Thompson uh, might just be the best two-way shooting guard in the NBA right now. I mean, people have been saying that. So, oh, Jimmy Buckets. Although, I say Jimmy's more of a small forward. So, it's hard for me to put him in that category. Simulate next game. 2008, tying up the series. Tying up the series. 29, 8, and 8 for Kawhi Leonard. We got Russell at 17, 15, and 9. Uh, Derrick Rose, oh boy, is a high volume shooter, dude. <laughs> 7 for 21. Not looking great. Simulate next game. 2011 takes it. 2011 takes it. Russell Westbrook does not go down without a fight, man. As he puts up 23, 7, and 11. We got Kyrie with uh, 26 and 10, 25, 9, 9 for Jimmy Buckets. 20 and 9 for Kawhi Leonard. Will 2011 take it all, man? Will they take it all? Find out next time on Dragon Ball Z. Jake, I've never watched Dragon Ball Z, guys. Don't hate. I just never really watched it. Simulate next game. And the 2011 NBA Draft Class is proving that they are the most dominant draft class in recent memory. What do you guys think about that, guys? Let me know in the comment section below. We got Kawhi Leonard, the MVP of this little tournament right here. 24 points, uh, 8 rebounds, 6 assists. Let me know, guys, if you want me to do this with some other draft classes, too. You know, I could do this with, like, 2003 and the 1996. That was a stag draft class. I can really do it without any of them, guys. So let me know in the comment section below. Um, if you guys ever come across these little challenges, send them to me on Twitter at CrispyFlex2K. Be sure to like this video, subscribe if you're new to my channel, and peace out, my friends.